Hi friends this is Manish Pandey welcome back today in this tutorial we are going to learn about send attachment in outlook in ui path so this is the the another tutorial of ui path outlook email automation so let's see our agenda today without any delay we'll learn how to send attachment in outlook in ui path we'll see how to send a, a specific file to any client to your to any user and we'll learn how to send multiple attachments in outlook in ui path let's say if you want to send multiple attachments to any recipient like to any email id then you can do that or if you want to you know uh, send one by one all these attachments to one email id then you can do that or let's say like in the two section if you are putting multiple email id then that at attachment will be sent to that email id let me open the ui path studio and then i will show you how to send the attachment and how to send multiple attachment so as of now you have learned how to send the email how to read the data from the config file you can see see here that i am reading the config file this one and in which i am passing all these details body message subject message to recipient from recipient so if you have not seen that video then you can go through uh, the previous video of the outlook email automation and here i am using for each row to add the config data to the dictionary and then i am getting all this data from the config you can see here we are passing two recipient subject message and body message now it's time to learn how to send attachment to email id so first we need to get the attachment so we need to first define our the location it means the path of that file so let me open this folder and you can see here i have this uh pdfs here in this folder in this location right so now we have the path so how can we do that so first we'll take one assign activity here and we'll write here control k and this is for attachment path and we'll just enter or put out this location so currently this is under the project location so we just put this file right and now this is a string let me check this the path this should be a generic value or a string so now we have the path here and if you want to just send a single attachment a specific attachment a specific document to this email id to this recipient let's say we have in the config file there is a email id or there are multiple email ids in the two section or in the c in cc then you can say that so for that we have this option here attach files if we'll click on this it will ask you to put the file name here and once you'll we'll click on this create argument it will show you that in direction and the type will be string it means you have to pass the file name that that attachment here in the string it will not take array of a string it will not take another value because you cannot change this type you see here if you double click on that to change that type you cannot change you cannot change the direction because we are because this activity will get attachment into this activity right so that's why it is just taking by default in direction because there is no use of out direction there is no use of in out direction so it is just just taking in argument to take the attachment and send that email right so we can do one thing we can click on this and here we can pass that attachment name it it means that file name which we need to send to the user so we have to write in the double quotation so we can write here attachment slash and let's say we have a file name i want to send this sample dot pdf so i'm just going to paste this file name so what will happen it will go and take the value it means this is the value this is a file name and then it will attach to this send outlook mail message and then once we'll run this project it will get that pdf file as a attachment and send to the recipient 
so let me run this control F5 it shows that path does not exist okay so let me correct this it shows that attachment so our path is attachments so we'll put here attachments so always make sure that you are not passing wrong data if you'll pass the wrong then you, you will get that exception and now you can run this again now you can see here we'll get that att attachment with the email okay you can see here the sample.pdf has been attached with this email id with all these details right now this is something that we are sending the specific attachment to this email id and let's say we have a multiple email id then also they will receive this attachment if we have the multiple attachment we need to send the multiple attachment then we, how can we do that so first as you can click on this and you can pass here the second option you can click on this activity send outlook mail message and go to the properties and you can see here we have attachments collection you can just click on this and you can see here you are getting the same thing here right now you want to send the another pdf also then how can you do that you know that it will not consider as a array of string it will not take collection of files so for that again you have to click on this right and again you have to pass the file name here which you want to send so let me say uh, copy this name so you just have to uh, write here attach ments slash this file name so now what will happen this time when mail will be triggered these two attachments will be sent in the same email id and if you have one more then you can just click on this by this way you can add multiple attachments here right so currently i'm just sending two email ids uh, two attachments here now press ok and save this now press control 5 to run this and let's take a look here so now this time we are getting two attachments here sample.pdf and manis underscore invoice.pdf if we don't know or we don't have the specific file name to send then how can we do that so you can see here currently we are passing the a specific file name that we need to just send this attachments every time let's say you are working on a pro project you just need to send one final report to the client or to the manager then you have that a specific report file name so you can just put here the variable which has that file name is stored or you can just put here the file name right so every time it will just go and pick only that name report and send to the manager and send to client right but if you don't know the file name the specific file name and if you have a scenario where you have in the one folder you have multiple files multiple pdfs multiple any documents multiple reports invoice anything and you just want to send based on any name let's say you have a folder and you want to send all these files to this email id then how can you do that so for that let me delete all these things here because we are not passing a specific or hard-coded value now i'm going to send all these attachments to one email id so let me go to the uipath studio and now you can see here we have option attachments collection you can see here it allows a specific on your list of files to be attached so it will collect all these attachments and send to that email id so for that we have to take here one assign activity because we need to get all these files from that pdf location where our attachments is there so we'll do one thing we'll press ctrl k and we'll write here files right so files this variable should be a collection of a string it means array of a string right now we need to write here directory dot get files 
now we need to write here the attachment path so we have this path attachment path we have this variable attachment path comma which type of documents you want to share with user let's say in this folder in this attachments folder we have multiple types of files let's say we have a pdf excel file text file jpg file image files like anything and if you just want to send only the excel report or only pdfs invoices something then you can specify the files here so let's say if you want to just send here you can write here in the double quotation all these files which has dot pdf extension only that extends that attachment should be sent or if you want to send the excel file then you can just go and edit that here and you can put here xls or x so that could be you can put here a star so what will happen it will take xls it means the older version or if it has excel sx then also it will take because we are passing here star so it will take both type of files it can be xls or xl sx so currently we have the pdf file we'll just take this and you know press ok you can see here we have the pdf now in this variable we have stored the collection of all these pdf files now if we'll take here one for each loop let me show you one thing if we'll write here for each and we'll put here a file file and if i'm putting here files and if i am putting this file inside this body and let me delete few files from here what i am doing here currently i am putting here this attachments this send outlook mail message activity inside this for each loop so what will happen every time like it will get the collection of attachments and one by one file will be sent if we are passing here file if we'll pass here file dot to string so if you are passing here file here so what will happen it will send one one message one one attachments to, to this email id let me run this here control f5 and you will see this message here that will get four emails here with single single attachments okay so we have received first one it has this attachment now second one it has this one so we will we'll receive four emails because we have four attachments four pdf files in that location now if you just want to attach all these pdfs in one email id instead of sending one one to the same email id then you can do one thing you can just delete this for each because we don't want to keep all this thing in the loop and send one one images one one attachments so you have to do one thing we have the collection of files in this variable files variable so we just have to go to the properties and let me just delete this and you can see here we have a attachments collection you can just click on this and here it will take ie numerable string it means this is a collection of attachments so we'll just put here our that variable so we have this files variable and this files variable it has the collection of attachments and this is a array of a string you can see here this is array of a string so we just need to pass here files variable so what will happen it will get all this collection of attachments store into this variable and send directly that attachment in this email now save this and run this control f5 now let's wait for that email okay so you can see here we have all these attachments included in this one email id right so you can send multiple attachments 
in next video we will learn if we have the list of email ids in excel sheet let's say in the excel sheet we have multiple email ids so we just want to send the specific attachment to this email id and the another specific attachment like document to another email id so let's say we have a 50 email ids because if you are working in a company or let's say you are working in an hr department and you have to send the salary slip the, uh, the specific salary slip to the specific user to the specific email id then you have to take one by one that a specific attachment and send to that email id i hope you like this video if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe and please like this video if you have any question please comment on video thank you thank you so much thank you for watching this video